tell us what you've just been doing, Dan. Um, capoeira. Um, they took me and Studge in the middle and kind of did all right in there, I think. Tried our best, it was our first time. Uh, but I think Welsh and Fraser, Adam was a bit stiff at the, to start off with and then he's loosened up and then uh, Welsh and Fraser just didn't, they weren't having it. They didn't get involved. I don't know why they didn't want to get involved, but obviously we're here as a team in a way, it's for a good cause, innit? <laughs> so it was all right, but we were a bit like, what's going on here? We didn't know the they script. Caught, off guard, man. caught me off guard, guard, big time. We, we was like, we just got to stand on the outside and then one of them is just dragging me in the middle. I'm like, oh, no, what's going on here? I wasn't ready. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, started holding cartwheels mid, like a matrix slow motion cartwheel thing anyway. And telling us to repeat it. And telling us to repeat it. <laughs> repeat it like we can. Like we can do it though, like, like we've done it before. Like, yeah. I don't know, yeah, but it was cool though. It's proper Brazil though now. Yeah, yeah. Proper, proper Brazil. You see like we're in, like the favelas are up there and you can, you know what I mean? You can see that some of these kids and the opportunities that they don't have, you know, just to come here and, and even spend five minutes with them to give them a little bit of hope and to see us do what we do and to get involved in, in their culture because we're, we're here is to be just like them and we're here to be part of their culture so doing the capoeira and seeing the kids play football and having a little dance with them is it's all good it's all healthy for us and it's it shows us like how far we've come as a pair as well not just you know the other boys but as a pair as well you know we're living our dreams now being here so it's good to see these kids and uh, looking at some of their skills out there, you've got to be on your toes with some of these coming up. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, you can see that they've been practicing for quite a while now, and I think this centre's doing good for them, obviously, uh, having the, uh, the chance and the opportunities to come here out of the favelas and obviously uh, enjoy sports, and that's, uh, that's one of the main things, being a kid growing up and enjoying the stuff that you want to do. First proper day in, uh, in Rio here, you've had training this morning. How was that? Training was good. It was pretty light for us too. We we because um, we played in the game, so it was a second day recovery for us. But for the other boys, obviously they trained very well. It was very warm as well, so it was it was difficult conditions. But we're getting used to that now. And every every day we train in the heat, the more and more we're getting used to it, and it's yeah. it's great to be here. As Stuff said, we just got to really acclimatise, and I think the preparations we've had for it um, in the previous weeks leading up to the tournament have been really good as well. So we have prepared very well, and we're just. Looking forward to the tournament now. And fever's really hotting up. You went out on the beach yesterday, you two, with uh, Chris Smalling and Jordan. You got mobbed a bit, didn't you? Yeah, it, to be fair, we didn't expect that. We, we went out and obviously we saw fans outside the hotel and we hopped in the car and we drove to, to the beach. We wanted a bit of privacy. We, we tried to blend in. We took our tops yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. We tried, um, tried, we tried our best to best. blend in. But we did for five minutes. To we be did, to be fair, we, we did. did. We were we good. Did well. We were fine. And then out yeah. of nowhere, a Liverpool fan. A Liverpool fan came. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know? yeah, Liverpool fan came. never walk alone. That's why he got the slogan. You know, once That's he exactly came along, there's about red or dead. <laughs> never about walk alone. Hundred people following us. To be fair, I think as you say, you know, there's Liverpool fans all over the place. You know, and it's only right that one of them came over to it and started giving us a bit of banter. He started giving it the dances and all sorts. It was good though, but it was a bit stiff though. It was stiff. It was stiff. It was stiff. It was stiff. But it was. It was all. We were surprised. We didn't expect that. We we were just going for a stroll on the beach. We had yeah. the sand was amazing. Like little things like that we we don't get to see. Do you know what I mean? Just yeah. just to be on the beach in Brazil and to be walking along the beach and to be chilling. But we wouldn't expect to get noticed the way we did. So it was quite. Uh, quite strange and then all of a sudden there was cameras and microphones in people's faces and like guys were like what, what do I say here? No speak English, no, no, no speak English. English. No English. <laughs> and it's another story for your blog as well then? Yeah it's another story for my blog. I don't want to get my camera out and start video recording YouTube but let's just say I've got some footage. Um, I'm hoping that um, people will follow my journey. Obviously not just my journey but you know Welves and, and the rest of the boys as I said we've come a long way. And um, it's, as I said, it's great to be here and we're all looking forward to it, just to embrace the World Cup spirit and to, to play and live our dreams. Now it's like it's getting down to crunch time and um, everyone's really focused, um, but they're being professional about going about the ways to obviously going into the Italy game and mm. it's just something, it's an exciting time mm. and we've really got to enjoy it and just to give it our all and hopefully um, we get the right result in the opening game. And make sure you stay off the pitch here. Yeah. yeah, that's it. We yeah. don't want, we don't want to get any um get no injuries, yeah. any any injuries or or bumps and bruises. Yeah, obviously the, we, we want to get involved. I'm itching to get involved yeah. with the kids and to have a bit of banter with them. But you know we have to make sure that um, we're in tip top shape and on tip top form for the game. So it's going to be a great occasion for everybody. Yeah.